Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. Today's lesson is just a complete beginner's lesson. All right, so this is for people that have never really played guitar before and are just getting started. And we're gonna look at four things. We're gonna look at uh, the names of the strings. We're gonna look at what frets are. We're gonna look at how to play the strings. And then we're gonna look at how to hold the frets down so you get nice notes. If you like the video, please like and share, subscribe to the channel, really appreciate all that. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. So, what are guitar strings? It's this bit, these bits here. There's your strings, okay? Now, the strings, we're gonna give letter names. Um, the letters are E, A, D, G, B, E. Kind of in that order, but to make that a little bit easier to remember, we're going to say this silly sentence. Elephants and donkeys grow big ears. Okay, so the first letter of each word tells us the name of the strings. Elephants and donkeys grow big ears. So I'm just going to write that down for you so you can see what we're getting at. As you can see here, I've done a lovely diagram of a guitar. Looks just the same, don't you think? Okay. Can you remember the names of the strings? So, starting on the thick one. Elephants and donkeys grow big ears. There you go. That's your string letters. Step one, done. The next thing we're going to look at is frets okay now frets is not a cockney way of being aggressive it's f-r-e-t and the frets are these metal strips that go all the way along the neck of the guitar okay can you see them they go all the way across and now frets we're going to give numbers instead of letters because it would be a bit confusing if we're using numbers and numbers so the frets are going to have numbers and we start at this end, at the headstock end, where all your tuning pegs and all that stuff is. This is not a fret, this is uh, the nut. This is fret number one. Two, three, four, five, six, blah, 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 all the way up, okay? Um, so we'll just look at our diagram again. You can see the dotted lines. I've done the frets and the nut frets are numbered like so and on and on and on okay that's step number two now we're going to look at how you pluck a string nicely now obviously you can do it any way you want really but i would suggest when you're beginning if you're using a pick or if you're just using your thumb or your fingers this is how you do it so we're going to pick one of our strings let's start with E for elephants, and some people might be tempted to do that and move their hand a lot. You don't want to move your hand a lot at all. You want to hold the pick so there's not too much stuff showing, not too much of it, it's just like an extra long fingernail. I'm going to pluck the E string gently and then I'm going to rest it on the A string. It's called a rest stroke, I'm going to just very small motion. See, my wrist is barely moving, my arm's not moving at all get nice controlled motion. So let's try another one. This, this time let's try plucking the B. So elephants and donkeys grow big. Just gonna pluck it there and rest it on the string below which is an, another E. So see how it just stops on the string and that's how I know. And if you want you can you maybe rest your finger there to give you some support. If you're not using a pick and just using your thumb, it's the same thing. Let's just try an A this time. I pluck the A and I rest on the string below. I don't follow through, I don't do all of them. You'll get to that one day, but for now, we're just doing single notes. There you go. Nice and controlled. That's how to pluck the strings. All right, our last step, how do you hold the notes? So this comes back to the frets, um, and we're gonna use our left hand to hold down the notes. Now. Your thumb is super important. I'm going to show you how it should look at the back of the neck. There, something like that, pointing straight up to the ceiling, just supporting at the back. 
don't do this, don't do this. You know, you see people doing it, but you can do that later on when you're a rock star. In the beginning, thumb goes at the back, the pad of your thumb supports, and then your fingers curl around and they kind of clamp. I don't know if you can see, probably there. We're gonna clamp on like that. So you've got that sort of shape, squeezing the neck. So for an example, let's play fret number two on the top E string. So that's this E here, elephants and donkeys grow big ears. Fret number two, one, two. I'm gonna hold down with the tip of my finger, pinching with my thumb at the back. And I'm just, see I'm not actually playing on the fret. That's gonna get the wrong note. You wanna be just to the left. And then you pluck it and you get a nice note. There's quite a lot going on there. And you see you've got a little bit of a line because I'm using the, you need the tip of your finger to hold down the fret. The thumb at the back and you're pinching. And remember, don't be on top of whatever fret you want to play, be just next to it. So let's do another one. Let's do on um, the D string and let's do fret number seven. So first of all, I've got to find the string. Elephants and donkeys, D for donkeys and fret number seven. I count along from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold down the D string. I'm going to use my first finger this time. Tip of the finger, holds down. Thumb at the back, pinching. I just pluck my note nicely. Oh, I did it wrong. And you might find you're getting a buzzing sound. Maybe you just have to push a little bit harder to clamp it down. Or sometimes you get a buzz because you're playing on top of the fret, not next to it. And that's basically the fundamentals of playing the guitar. It does take a while to get good at holding down the notes and uh, remembering all the strings, but it's worth doing right in the beginning. So set yourself up uh, for learning better in the future. All right, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I'll see you in the future. Bye.